All right, good morning, sixth grade friends. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do for today. It is Wednesday, December the 2nd, which means that today's learning will be asynchronous. So if you look over here on the calendar, you'll see that uh, to get the credit for attendance today, you need to complete the close reading questions, right? You can click on it from here or you can go through the folder. You really probably want to go through the folder so that you can do the reading first. You're not going to be able to answer those questions until you do the reading. So there's two parts to this assignment. So we are now on the today folder. So let's open up the today folder. Uh, we are on uh, learn. So let's start with the, the connect because we're not going to be together to do that. So you're going to go into the connect folder. You're going to review here as the weather changes in the holidays approach. Think about your cultural practices and there's some pictures here and some things that we do as a culture that I want you to think about and review. And then think about how do these cultural practices come from a mixture of different cultures. And so the reason for that is because uh, in the lesson, we're going to learn about human geography of Central America and the Caribbean, including uh, the culture and the economy and its impact on life there. And so as part of the learning objectives, you will know that the cultural in Influences of Africa and Europe and indigenous groups uh, have have affected this region of the world. You'll also know some of the political and economic challenges that they face in the region. So just take a look at that. Think a little bit about the cultural practices here in the U.S. and how they have been influenced by other parts of the world. Next, we're going to, uh, to preview the key ideas, the key terms, the pictures and headings to predict what we're going to learn about. Then. We're going to read the section and answer the close reading questions. We'll save the student journal for when we meet again on Thursday or Friday. So let's go into the learn folder. All right, the first thing that we need to do is open up our, our textbook. So let's log into our textbook. We're going to go to section three. All right, so that we can do the reading. Click on browse social studies. Scroll down to chapter four, Central America and the Caribbean. And then we are on section three, Central America and the Caribbean today. So we open this up, online student edition, open in a new window. And voila, after it loads, there it is, there's the reading. So we're gonna start by doing a quick little preview here, looking over the key ideas and the key uh, terms. We're going to look at the headings so that we can get a good idea of what the section is going to be about. We're going to look at some pictures here and we're going to turn the page. We're going to read through the closer look, one region, many faces. And so make sure that you read through each of these and try to understand how are there, uh, there, there are some differences in the region. Um, indigenous traditions, there's something here called Santeria, which is something that uh, you may want to learn a little bit more about. Turn the page. Eventually, we'll move on to the government and change. And so uh, you can see here the literacy and the life, the life expectancy in the region. And you can see that the literacy and the life expectancy kind of go hand in hand, right? Where the literacy is high, the life expectancy is high. Where the literacy is low, the life expectancy is low. So if there, if there was never uh, a, a better reason to learn how to read, it's because those who can read live longer. And then we're moving on to the section of freeing up the economy. Okay, make sure you look at the pictures, you look at uh, the headings, try to get a sense of what you're gonna learn about. Here you can see a chart that shows the market price of coffee, and you can see how that has changed over time compared to the market price versus fair trade. So try to understand what this chart is showing you. Ultimately, it shows you that under a situation uh, where trade is fair, the price of coffee stays the same and it doesn't fluctuate like it does on the blue line. Okay? You'll learn about a word here called microcredit. And to end the section, you're going to learn about that thing we've talked about, ecotourism. Right? Uh, you can see these young men here on a horseback. That is, a, that is an example of ecotourism because they're not using cars and uh, buses and things like that to get around, which are much better for the environment. So now we can uh, go back to the first page. Now that we have done the preview, we can back up a little bit here. And from the front page, we can begin reading. Okay. 
we're going to want to read one of the sections at a time. And after we read, whoops, I went back too far. There we go. Once we read the first section, we're going to answer the questions under close reading. Okay, so let's open up the close reading questions. All right, and I'm going to go to my preview here and start a new attempt. All right, and you'll see here that the first section is called Woven Cultures, which matches up with the section in the book. So we're going to read this first section, Woven Cultures, and we're going to use our highlighter tool to answer some of the questions. So let's look at the first one. What is the ethnic background of most of the people in the Caribbean? Well, let's go ahead and see if we can find that answer. The regions, West African, Native American, French, Danish, and British, Spanish cultures weave together to form a diverse society. Most of the the people in the Caribbean are of African descent, and many people in the region speak Spanish. But there is great diversity in religion and ethnicity, language, and other aspects of culture. So I believe the answer was right here, African descent. And so I'm going to highlight that so that when I come back, I can look for an answer that looks like that. Okay? All right. When we're done with the section, we've answered all the questions. We move on to the next section, and we read government and change. And you'll see here that uh, that is the next section of reading, government and change. We've also got freeing up the economy, and then lastly, we have eco-tourism. So your task is to read each of the sections and then answer the questions in the close reading. Make sure that you highlight the answers in the textbook. That will ensure that you get the answers correct on the close reading questions. All right. So when you are, are done with that, uh, you will submit. Uh, and then that is the only task that you have to complete for today. Um, when we meet again on Thursday or Friday, we, we will work on the student journal. So for today, it's just reading and answering the close reading questions. Um, make sure that you submit that. That is how you will earn your attendance for today. If you do not submit the close reading questions, then you will not get credit for attendance today. I will be online most of the day. So if you have a question or need help, please feel free to email me and I will uh, do what I can to, to help you out. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow or on Friday. Have a great day, guys.